pursuit of curiosity doesn't just change our thinking or the way we view things. But the pursuit of curiosity also help others see things differently. Although I have to admit that there is good and bad curiosity. And an example of the bad curiosity could be the story of Adam and Eve right at the beginning of the Bible. But there are also countless good curiosity. One that many people know, such as the story of Christopher Columbus, who was curious. According to some historian, he wanted to go to Asia. According to others, he wanted to go to the continent of Africa. Several discussion. Let's leave it for the historian to discuss. But from pursuing his curiosity, from pursuing that, he not only sees something different on the earth, but more importantly, have helped it others seeing that there was another continent, that earth wasn't just the way they think it was. Even in the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 19, we read the story of the tax collector, a short man who wanted to see Jesus, and the crowd was crowded. He couldn't see it, but he wanted to see Jesus. And he pursued his curiosity to claiming the tree. And as he claimed the tree, not only his life changed in that moment, but then also the life of countless others have changed. The portion of Moses that we're dealing with today in Exodus, from Exodus chapter 3, begins with, Moses' curiosity. Moses see the burning bush. He's curious to know what's going on and he pursue it. He go and from him pursuing it come his calling. From him pursuing it come his mission and purpose in life. And not only that have changes Moses' life but that has also changed countless others' life, experiencing God differently. But I think curiosity, uh, this curiousness of Moses helped me see something different in Moses, that I'm willing to make this assumption that deep inside of Moses, he was curious. Deep inside of him, he was looking for justice. Deep inside of him, he wanted an answer for what people of Israel were suffering from in Egypt. So, a lot of time we see the calling in the same form as Abraham, where God just talked to Abraham, go do this. And it's good. Because we're living according to God's mission. But the reflection today, it's a little bit different. Is that sometimes we find a calling, we find a mission from us pursuing the white curiosity. What would the story of Moses be without him pursuing his sense of curiosity to go see what was going on? And what will the future be without you pursuing your own white curiosity? To be curious can look crazy. And some curiosity are crazy. Crazy step, the story of Moses. See you tomorrow.
Come and on, Lord, I'm 